Mexico City may have taught you that Mexico is covered with cactus. But if you still haven't learned this fact, you'd better travel south to the Isthmus of Tiltepec. The state of Oaxaca is also Mexico, but what a different one. This is the Tierra Caliente, the tropics. More like a South Sea island than any you ever dreamed of seeing. A land of sugarcane and golden pineapples, wild orchids and parrots, lazy oxen and cool, thatched and tile houses. The sun is warm, so animals and people are inclined to take things easy. Only the vegetation is violent. Look at this flame tree. Tehuantepec has nearly five times more women than men. So this shy boy is about to be captured. He doesn't seem to mind it at all. amazing and lovely creatures. They are taller than most Mexican women and have all carried burdens on their heads so long that it has straightened their backs and given them a free regal carriage which should be ended by the women of the state who think a two-ounce hat is heavy. of men here in the market. It is because women in the United States might also envy the Tijuanas the custom of sending their men into the fields to do all the hard work, while they reserve for themselves the sole right to all commercial enterprise, and naturally, the fine amount of gossip which accompanies any buying and selling. The Tijuanas are also amazing because nearly all of them are beautiful. What a list of virtues. Shrewd and capable businesswomen with a positive genius for adorning themselves. Graceful and beautiful. And numerous. Then add to all this the virtues of skill and industry. Well, it's hard to believe, but it's true. Everyday clothes in Tehuantepec can certainly not be called drab, but their fiesta costumes are especially brilliant. As a fashion note, these skirts are built like Malay and Burmese sarong, a quick twist and tucked in at the top. And that waist affair is called an epil. In case you're thinking of running one up some afternoon, just ask any department store for the pattern. The Tehuantepec another odd custom, probably inherited by a Spain from Moorish ancestors. They are greatly addicted to heavy gold jewelry, usually in the form of ornamented coins held in place by filigree work. They save every penny gained in commercial enterprise until a gold bauble or small gold coin can be purchased. Then a brisk trade commences and the coins are traded bought and sold until a fine large piece can be obtained. If the owner is finally satisfied with the size of the coin, she has it set like a jewel and guards it from then on. This 1880 American gold piece is probably the envy of the whole neighborhood. about probably true. About a century ago, a European ship founded on the coast of Tehuantepec, and in the cargo was a shipment of very expensive baby clothes. Not imagining such rich and frilly garments could be anything but headdresses, the Tehuantepec put them on and have worn them as such ever since. Weddings 
is very exciting to the people of Tehuantepec for a number of reasons. First, because it's a wedding. Second, because it means that some woman has been lucky enough to find an eligible man. And still more important, the man has probably come from some neighboring state to find his bride. And that is very flattering. After a wedding, there's always a reception. The marimba is native to this lovely place also. And the attractive dance, La Sandunga, is usually inspired by it. But the weddings are serious. So today, the dancing is more formal. Once a year, on a date determined by the condition of the crop, the casting of the fruit takes place. For this fiesta, green things and flowers are fastened upon anything that will support them. The most colorful garments are carefully taken out of wardrobe. Each pleat in what you call it is carefully arranged and pressed. Every piece of jewelry is put on. Then the lovely Tijuanas go out into the country to find the most perfect blossoms and the most beautiful fruit. The longest earrings and the heaviest jewelry definitely on display. Everyone starts for the central plaza. But who has ever failed to be attracted by parades and beautiful girls who will toss fruit to you from the balcony? This part of the fruit fiesta has always been a mystery to people who do not believe in Santa Claus and who are inclined to sniff at ceremony and ritual. Why, asks the cynic, should the inhabitants of Tehuantepec scramble for fruit thrown from balconies when the markets are full of it to be had for pennies and the whole country's rich? Will you promise yourself to come back to Tehuantepec as soon as you can.